Tracy Lewis with Stuff and Things with Winter is Coming Episode 8. I am in Georgia today on my way to Florida. I just completed the quarterly meeting with the North Carolina Demonstrators Group. What a wonderful bunch of people. I had so much fun. I have not crafted like that in a very long time. And for most people, they hadn't been able to because of COVID. So I have all these cards. I have, I think, over a hundred swaps in a variety of different themes. One chunk of them are Christmas and maybe a couple that could be Thanksgiving cards. So I am going to intersperse these cards that other folks have made and I'm gonna talk about them and then I'm going to either say they're perfect as is or I might do some things to them to just spruce them up. If I have the person's name on the card or on the swap that I got, I will give the person credit for creating it. This particular project did not have a name on it. I really like it though, so I thought it was a good start because to me, it is a really good basic casual card. It has coloring done very well. It has an, a die cut feature. The, the snowman himself is a punch. And the background is a very nice new embossing folder and it even has some DSP on it. So I was able to take this card apart and built it back up into a really nice Avid level card. And I will be doing this, as I said, throughout some of the episodes that I did for myself. So I am going to now jump into the card as I altered it. Now this particular one, I forgot to take a photo or speak to the card before I took it all apart. So I will try to include a walkthrough of the original card. This happens to be a photo that was taken uh, at the event itself. Okay, before we look at the card that I created, I wanted to show the stamp set that was used because the, there's the snowman builder part with that fits with the punch, and then there's these two additional snowmen, uh, which are really fun. And of course the hat, some snowflakes, and I really like the handwritten font. It is one of my favorites. It is returning from last year. It is in the annual catalog. And here are some of the products that I added to the card. I added the white organdy ribbon. It, this comes in black and white. It has these little AB sparkles, which is really important to note. There is, I used elegant faceted gems. I have two sheets and you can see that uh, I really like to use the clear. Uh, I used the clear, be small and large, because it kind of looks like glistening snow or wet from snowflakes melting. Then I bought these wonderful snowflakes, which is an AB paper, so it coordinates with that organdy ribbon. I did also add, you'll see, two layers of cardstock, one cherry cobbler and a strip of black. So. Here is the card after I took it apart and dressed it up. I did not do anything with the coloring. I thought the coloring was perfect. I really liked all of the pieces that made the card. This embossing folder is a half size embossing folder that comes with pines. And then the snowflakes have these really nice uh, little swirlies you know, as if the, it's showing the path of the snowflake swirling through the air. So I think by adding, uh, I added one additional pop-up. There, nothing about the card was popped up. And I did not pop up these two snowflakes, but I did only apply them at the center and I'm letting them kind of float and encouraged them to curl up. I added a little bit of black to frame the strip as well as to go with the black lettering, the black stamping, and the hat. Cherry Cobbler is now a layer. I did trim down this pool party embossed layer just a tiny bit to be able to give that sliver of Cherry Cobbler. And I added five, actually six, different little elegant 
faceted gems to finish it off. I could have added a bow, but I thought it had enough going on uh, that I didn't want to introduce a bow with this organdy ribbon being as wide as it is. So I thought just having it so it twinkles a little bit and, and it further enhances the AB coloring that's on the snowflakes, which are a glossy finish and the back side of the snowflakes are white. So you can choose to use the, the matte white or the AB white. That completes the walkthrough of this card, both as it was what I saw in the card, as well as going through the materials and what it looks like now. I think it will make a beautiful card to give away during the holidays. Please leave any questions, comments, or suggestions you have on this video or over on my blog. I will have the full supplies list on my blog. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.